presence of the beautiful deities of Radha Krishna and Sri Maharaj. So happy to meet all of you. We have this Kirtan sheet which you all have received. It talks about the opportunity we have and thereby expresses the goal of life. People keep asking, what is the goal of life? So it urges us towards the supreme goal of life. We will sing it, which will take about half an hour, and then we will discuss the meaning of this bhajan. Be a mool, a mool, a Oh. 
Avasar means opportunity. Life is not an obligation. It is not an ordeal. It is not a torture by all means, as some depression patients would think it to be. It is an avasar. It's a golden opportunity. Because this whole universe has been created by God. And when we say God is great, we mean every bit of it. In the world also you have great people. I met a gentleman yesterday, an Indian businessman. He was telling me, Swamiji, I am doing business and whatever I earn, I use it in the best way I can impact the world through charity. I said, it's visible on your face. So much of calm and generosity. So we human beings also have this goodness in us. Imagine the goodness in the personality of God. He is an ocean of compassion and love. He has created us as little replicas of himself. You know, it is said God made man in the image of God. So he made us for not to undergo torture, not so that we may suffer from COVID, but because in the grand scheme of things, he has a wonderful plan for us. Albert Einstein said, you have a choice whether to believe the universe is malevolent. It is conniving to make you unhappy and miserable or to believe that the universe is benevolent and it is designed for your inner growth and well-being. If we see the universe as malevolent, we will be easily moved to misery because we will feel that people, circumstances, things are against me. And with the other perspective, we will always look upon adversities as opportunities for our growth and inner unfoldment. Because we have faith that the plan of God is for our best interest. So what is that best interest of God? our best interest. This word Brahma in Sanskrit is used for the Supreme Divine Personality. The word Brahma has got two meanings. Would anybody like to volunteer a definition for Brahma? What does it mean? Brahma. Prashant. Bigger than the biggest. Brahma means what is infinitely big. But the word Brahma has got a second definition which Babita will educate us about. He makes us big like him. Sri Maharaji has written a verse in the Bhagavata in the Bhakti Shatak. Brahma Vrihatvat As Bado Jako Na Adi Na Ant 
Brahma is so big, there is no beginning and end to him. Brahma vringhanatvat as oran kare anant. He also makes his little parts big. So his grand design is that one day we reach the perfection which he is at. He is extremely generous and wishes to share his infinite knowledge, love and bliss with us. But he can only do so when we become responsible. If we are irresponsible and he gives us such powers, then what will happen? We will misuse it. So he is waiting for us to be responsible. And to be responsible means to become selfless. So we have to ascend this spiritual ladder. And that is the opportunity we have got. The soul is on a journey since endless lifetimes. Now you look at each other and say, okay, this is our life. Which Sri Krishna told Arjun, Arjun, you took many births before this. And I also came down many times before this. You have forgotten your births and obviously have no knowledge of my previous avatars. While I remember them all and also remember all your births. So since so many lifetimes we have been journeying along. And how was the journey like? Sometimes we went to Swargalok, sometimes we descended to Narak. Krishna Bhuli. Say Jeev Hoy Anadi Bahirmuk Atev Maya Tare De Sansare Dukh Kabhu Swarge Uthai Kabhu Narke Dubai Dandya Jane Raja Yena Nadia Chubai. So, like the football in the soccer field, it sometimes goes to the right wing forward, then comes back to the center, then comes left back, then the left forward, then mid center. That is how this soul has been doing. We have been in bodies of cats and dogs. We have forgotten it all. But we have seen all this drama. And now we have received the human birth. This has provided us with an opportunity. Oh, the Ramayan says, Kabahunka kari karuna nar dehi Det is binu hetu sanehi Once in a while God graces the soul and gives it the human body. But the human form is also not enough to achieve the supreme goal. So many human beings have no knowledge of God, no interest in self-realization. So Shankaracharya said, you will need three graces. And these three graces are the most important graces of God. 